In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an endless loop in Webflow. Basically, this can be used for text, it can be used for links, it can even be used for graphics, anything that you would like to um, endlessly loop through the screen in Webflow. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Basically, what you're going to need is two divs and two text. So for this example, I'll drag in a div that will be my outer container. Then I'll drag in another div, which we'll actually use to move inside the container. And lastly, we'll drag in two headings. So we need to make sure that the two headings say the exact same thing. And if you were to have a series of logos here or links, you would definitely want two sets that look exactly the same. And basically we need to set these to um, be in line so that they stack side by side. And then we can set a height, we can set a pixel height, but I like to use viewport width. So that way it scales with the uh, size of the screen. So I'll increase this to where it's slightly larger. Um, and then I'll set the text style to no wrap. That way the text uh, is not forced to wrap with the screen. The next thing is inside the inner container, we need to set the flex to flex box horizontal center and uh, justify left. And basically this is going to force the text to stack side by side. Next thing you'll notice, I need a space between these two. So I'll just use some margin and I'll make sure to use a viewport value as well. That way it scales with the size of my text. And that looks about right. So right now this entire page can be horizontal scroll. And I want to set the width of the container to 100% and set the overflow to hidden. Basically, that will make it so that my page can no longer be scrolled left or right. I'll set some padding in here. That way we can see the bottom of the text. And now we just need to set up the uh, interaction. So we'll head over to the interactions panel and we'll add a new interaction on page load. So this means as soon as the page starts loading, we want to create an animation. And we'll call this endless loop. And basically we want to move the inner container inside the main container. So we'll create an interaction of move and we'll start the move at zero viewport width and the duration of zero, this is essentially just our initial state. Then we'll set another move and we'll move this viewport width to look like to where we're showing the second text and to where it looks like it's starting right where the other one starts. So we need to move this back further. So basically I want the the second line of text to be in view right where the first one was. So I'll just check these two to see where they line up. I may have to do a 0.5 value to get it closer. And that's, that's pretty close. And then the second thing we need to do is set the duration. So right now it moves really fast. We'll set the duration to something like uh, 12 seconds for now and it could possibly be even longer than that if we wanted it to. The last thing we need to do is return the start value to zero and this is important if we are going to make the animation loop it needs to snap back at the very end right to where it started but we'll set the duration to zero that way it's an instant snap back and it looks like it hasn't moved at all. So the first one moves the inner container zero the second one moves the inner container over to the left. And the last one moves the container back to zero with a duration of zero. 
So when we close out of this animation, we can set the animation to loop. And then when we preview the changes, we should see that the text cycles through entirely. And this is the first line of text. Now the second one is entering into view. And as soon as it gets right to this point here, it should cycle through seamlessly. Snaps back to the first and then loops the entire animation. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, feel free to like, share, or comment, and we'll catch you next time.